guys welcome to this extra video some of you guys know that today marks the day one year ago when I got my first horse of her own wanted a horse ever like even when I had Stella it just mostly felt overwhelming and just really hard for me because I lacked so much knowledge so much experience so much everything but then after I rode the Pasofino horses the other day I really got the feeling that I'm I'm ready for a horse like I'm ready I, I think I'm ready for a horse you guys like this is the first time in my life I ever wanted a horse and this girl grew up most of her life not even knowing about horses or how amazing they are or, and she never ever wanted a horse and then one day things changed so much she ended up having two little girls who of course fell in love with horses and through them she learned the power of a horse i have a dog here who wants to tell this story she's like what about me i'm better than a horse i'm better than a horse so this, so this girl who grew up to be a woman and she saw all the love and all the excitement that horses brought to her kids and she learned slowly over time how to love a horse. That horses have feelings and that they can be trained and that they love and that they learn who their people are, that they need a sense of belonging, that they need a family, that they are just like every other person and animal out there. Horses, horses are amazing. And it took a really long time for the woman to come to the conclusion that she wanted her own horse. I want a horse that I can take on trail rides. Like, I want to do things my own way. I want a horse that I can set my own rules. I loved riding those Pasofinos, and when I sit in that saddle and I ride those Pasofinos, I do it all. I get excited to race up hills, and I, I love it. Like, I, it brings out a whole different person in me. And she took a really long time deciding because the girl that turned that had turned into the woman she did not have confidence in herself. She had a lot of people telling her, you know, you are not a good horse owner. You will not do well with a horse. You have to only have horses your whole life or else you're not smart enough to have a horse. And there was just so much negativity and so much doubt going on in, in the woman's life that she <sighs> doubted herself. She let all of that doubt decide that she would not have a horse and she wanted a horse and she dreamed of a horse and she thought of a horse but she knew she would never get a horse because of all the people who told her that she would never be good enough for a horse and so time went on and time went on and then one day she inherited a horse by mistake her youngest daughter the horse they had bought for her the horse that they had bought for their youngest daughter did not work out and so she had so they ended up having this horse it was an extra horse and by default it fell to this woman and this woman learned to really love horses after she got her first horse she loved her and she groomed her and the horse learned to love her and the horse was such a good family horse but sadly that horse passed away one day and a hole was left in the woman's heart more time went on and there was more negativity and more people saying don't do it don't do it you cannot do it you cannot have a horse even though the woman had already had a horse but people said different things this time they said things like like you suck at horses you kill horses you you don't feed them right you don't take care of them nicely you are a terrible horse owner and then the lady really started to doubt herself because she had shared with the world all of the things that she had done to love her first horse and 
people were saying that it was not enough. There were kind people along the way that told the lady that she had done a good job and kind people along the way that knew that her first horse had been loved so much. But in a world where negativity rules, it was really hard for the lady to have the confidence she needed to get another horse. And so time went on and the lady would ride with the girls, with her daughters, and she would spend time helping them with their horses and grooming their horses and buying stuff for them and making sure that her daughters had everything they needed for their horses and she would ride and ride and every time she would ride on a trail ride which was this lady's dream she would wish again she would come off of every trail ride and she would say oh, i wish i had a horse I'm, I'm gonna do it i'm gonna buy a horse i'm gonna buy a horse i want a horse that i can take for trail rides with my kids. I want a horse that I can ride around on and feel comfortable. I want a horse that I never have to put a bit in its mouth. So after much dreaming and much planning and much thinking and much support from her family, there's a Dalmatian in the video, that lady finally decided that she was gonna have a horse of her own. And it was such a huge process. She spent so much time that nobody knew about looking at horses online, dreaming about horses online, and messaging people about horses online. And the lady started small and then slowly broadened her search and it took months and months and months. And finally, the lady could not find the exact horse that she wanted, so she just started messaging people that didn't even have horses for sale. She started messaging people and saying, hi, I saw you had gated horses for sale a long time ago. Do you have any available now? And of course the answer was always no. Until one day, the no turned into a yes. The lady messaged a woman who had an ad years ago on the internet and it was still there and she was in Ontario where the lady lived and and so she messaged her and said hi like I uh, do you I'm looking for a gated horse do you have one available and the lady said no I'm sorry this is all I have and so the lady went back to the drawing board again and then the next day the woman she had mentioned the woman that, that she had messaged sent her another message and she said you know I have my own personal mare who is close to my heart and I need to downsize and I'm willing to to separate from her. I'm willing to sell her to the right home. And the lady was shocked and scared and nervous and she said, okay, do you have a picture of the horse? Because the lady knew that if the horse was right for her, it would have to be many things. It would have to be the right size for her because she was tall. It would have to be the right breed for her and it was. And the lady said, if this is the horse that God wants me to have, it will be a paint. <laughs> See, the lady knew that God knew that her dream was to always have a paint because that was her favorite horse and she just knew it in her heart that if the horse turned out to be a tall, big, paint horse mare, that it would be the right horse for her, that it would be sent from heaven because the lady had told God all of her dreams and all of her wishes. And the lady didn't want a horse because it looked a certain way. The lady was looking for signs that God was saying that this is the right horse for you. And the lady knew that if God wanted to tell her that this is your horse, he would tell her by sending the dream horse that she's been telling him in her dreams all along. Before the woman even sent the picture of the horse, the lady already knew. She just had the craziest feeling and she said, I bet you this is gonna be a paint horse. And the lady sent the picture and it was a paint horse. And she was the right height and the right size. And she was a mare and she was all the things the lady dreamed of and wanted. And the lady felt in her heart so strong that God was sending her this horse. The lady felt so strong in her heart in a way that you can't feel in your heart unless you know the feeling that God sends you to your heart when he sends you something and he wants you to know. And so the lady sent video to her trainers and she showed her husband the picture and her husband said, no more horses. And the lady didn't care that her husband said no more horses. And she made plans to go and visit the horse and see the horse. And, and she did, she did that. The lady and her family woke up early one morning and drove four hours 
to see the horse and the plan was that while she was there she would ride the horse and take videos of the horse and send it to her trainers and if her trainers agreed that this horse was the right horse then she would buy the horse. Today is the day that I've been dreaming about, the day that I've been wishing for. Who ever thought that me, Laura, would be wanting to buy a horse? Like, who ever thought that I would be buying a horse? It was amazing and scary and all at the same time. And so the lady went to try the horse and she got there and the horse was mad. And she was angry and she was standing in the cross ties and she was projecting these emotions like, you better get away from me. You could tell the horse didn't know us. She's pretty, but I'm she nervous. She's a longer head. So, she, so, she's, so she's a grouchier horse. She's an independent. She had kind of gooey eyes and when the lady brought the saddle out to saddle the horse out up, she pinned her ears so far back on her head that the lady's oldest daughter said, you're not buying this horse. I'm not letting you buy this horse. You're not even gonna ride this horse. And the lady said, I like her. She needs work, just like me. I like her. And so uh, the lady that was selling the horse truly did love this mare and she was so kind and she saddled up another horse so that the lady so that the lady's oldest daughter could ride with them and she allowed that family she allowed the family to spend as much time as she needed with this mare to see if it was the right one i watch you as you drive do you know i'm looking and i can't help but smile do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever, forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here? Forever, I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Was she perfect? No. Was she easy? No. Was she perfect for me? I think so. So uh, the lady tried. Was she perfect for the lady? I think so. So uh, the first the older daughter rode the horse and then the lady rode the horse and the horse did not listen at all. And the horse just grabbed the bit and ran. But the lady had never felt more exhilarated in her life. She had never felt more of a connection in her life. She had never had more fun in her entire life. They went on a small trail ride and it was even worse. <laughs> The horse was scared and running and the lady knew in her heart that the horse was right for her. And so the lady bought the horse and brought her home. And after the horse was in the trailer and the money had been paid and they were driving, the lady was like, what have I done? There's gonna be, I don't know what we're gonna do with her once we get her home, but I bought a paint horse and I love riding her. They drove under the biggest rainbow they had ever seen. And it was this ginormous rainbow in the sky and the lady felt instantly at peace. Like God was saying, this is, this is, like God was saying, this is what I planned for you all along. This is what I planned for you. You worried and you stressed and you didn't believe and you didn't have faith and all along, this is what I had planned for you. See it? I think you can see it. There's a rainbow right in front of us. We're, we're riding into a rainbow, you guys. Like, I feel like that's God saying, you made the right choice for you. Sit back and enjoy the ride because when God plans for you, it's always amazing. So, the lady felt so much better passing underneath that big, huge rainbow. And then they continued to drive. It was a four hour drive. And then the lady was talking with her family about what they will do with the horse. And she started thinking about how she's gonna take it off the trailer and 
introduce it to her horses and she started to panic again because remember this horse was angry when she bought it and she was worried about her her own ponies at home because she loved them so much and she didn't want to introduce an angry horse to them and and them possibly get hurt or have less of a happy life because of a horse that she wanted to bring into their life and she started to worry again and she started to stress and then suddenly up in the sky there were fireworks and you guys not only did we see a rainbow, but now there are fireworks in the sky. See, every, even, the, even the universe is excited that I got a horse. So many fireworks. There were fireworks going off like crazy and the lady just stopped and the whole family stopped and they were watching these fireworks in the sky. And then the lady knew for sure that this was her horse, that this horse had been planned for her all along and that God had sent her this horse and that she just needed to trust and take a leap of faith and believe and that God would guide their journey and he has. When we worry and stress, it's wasted energy and wasted time. All we need to do is tell God what we want, tell God what we need and let it go and let him figure it out and he will let you know when he's working on your behalf. So that is my story of the girl who wanted a horse, wanted and dreamed of her first true horse and how it happened and how she got it and how their journey began. I have someone coming this winter um, to help us further our journey and help with training and I couldn't be happier. And I wanted to tell you guys that a lot of people believe that horses value are in what they can do for you and horses value is in riding and I believe that all life has value all life and even if that mare had turned out to be not rideable or not perfect in some way she still would have been perfect to me because there's value in love even if it's not the way you thought it would be. Um, I hope you enjoy watching our progress, my progress with my first horse, Penny. And I hope you guys will stick around and see this new next year with Penny because I think it's gonna change drastically for Penny and for myself with the help of this person that is coming to help me train her. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of our journey and for all those people that I talked about who told me I wasn't good enough to have a horse, I know there were many of you guys who, who rooted at me on and and um, prayed for us and believed in us. There were so many more of you that were like that than it told me that I wasn't worthy to have a horse. But I told that part of the story because I want you all to know that even though there are people out there that will, believe, that will not believe in you, you can succeed and you can have what you want despite that. Thanks for watching. You ready to go? She's a little spicy, you guys.